Now, Eli, what, what do you want the hospital to do here? I want them to, well, first I want them to, while she's there, to give her some nutrition because I feel like that's what my child needs to heal. And they're not doing that, so that would be one of the first things. And then whatever the other place would need for them, that's what I would want them to do, to just make it just an easy, smooth transition. They don't want her there, so why wouldn't you not do the things that you need to do to get her out of there? They don't like the attention that's going on over there, so just help us to move her out of there. Have any of these doctors uh, convinced you of their position that she's brain dead? What would it take for you to have some assurance that these doctors are right? I would probably need for my child's heart to stop, to show me that she was dead. Her heart is still beating, so there's still life there. Oh, Murray, you've mentioned you've seen some positive signs from Jahai over the past couple of weeks. Can you share some of those with us? Yeah, on her respirator machine uh, or her ventilator settings, uh, it has a line that's green that shows that that's the ventilator doing the breathing for her. When it turns pink, uh, that's her taking her own breath. Um, and lately, there's been a lot of pink showing, showing her taking her own breath. Uh, she's starting to have more body movement uh, within herself of her moving her entire body and her shoulders now, not just wiggling her feet or her toes. Her arms and shoulders are starting to move. Um, so it looks like she's showing signs of life. Naila, tell us how much it meant for you to be able to spend Christmas with your daughter. It was, it was beautiful because I didn't think that it was going to happen because Children's Hospital was really adamant that they did not want that to happen. So it was beautiful to have the whole family come and people bought food and we tried to make it as normal as possible, but you really can't make it normal when your child is not able to enjoy it, but it was just a, a good feeling as a mother and as a family that I could spend Christmas with my child. And people sent her gifts too from all over the world. They sent gifts to her to the hospital and we put them under her tree and I do believe that one day she will be able to open them. Um, it, was, it was a good feeling. I was really happy about that.